All right, guys, I want to show you something real quick. So I don't have any more AM steel to show you this on because I've ran out making all kinds of crap with it. But anyways, when I was, when you're doing a full berry on like my rope mod or something, you know, I was fishing these long tweezers all the way up through there and trying to pinch it and then pull it through that way. But you can, these tweezers are only so long, so you can only pull a section at a time. So when I was doing the um, tether line that I made, I literally did a full berry from right behind the eye that I spliced in. I spliced that eye in the end, literally right behind the eye, all the way to the end of the rope, which is eight foot. I reburied. I did a full berry from that eye all the way to the end so that it basically doubled up the rope. So this is what I made because this would have been a pain in the butt to try to fish that much length through. Because you, like I said, you can only you can only put this so much down on this and then you can feed it through. You can feed a section of it through and then you got to come down here and then redo it again and pull it like a section at a time. And it's harder. So I took an old standard diameter arrow that I had, just an old junk one. I put me a real smooth field tip on it. Didn't really have a point or anything. It's just a real smooth kind of cheap fill point so that it was real smooth and didn't catch the insides of the uh, am steel. And then I just cut the end of it off. And that 3 16 am steel, you can squeeze it down and it will fit. You can feed it down in this arrow shaft. And so you can actually use this arrow shaft as a feed and pull a whole lot more distance through there that way. I think through that whole eight foot rope, I only had to move this one time. So I inserted it one time um, from the top down, fed my part that I was burying into the arrow shaft and then pulled it through and then milked it down and then I went to the end of the rope and I was able so in two moves I was able to feed through that whole rope that whole eight foot berry I was able to do the whole length of it with just two moves on this homemade feed so if you're looking to do something like that where you've got to bury a long section of it and these are the feeds that I ordered online they're they'll be short tiny things I mean you're not going to get very far you'd be out there all day trying to do it with these things because they're so short and so that was why I made that. So if you guys are into am still and building your own stuff, um, making your own ropes, and, and even with the uh, aiders and stuff, this would have actually been easier probably to do the very own than just these tweezers alone.